Hi guys, it's Kara, and I have some goodies from Jet Pens to share with you guys. This is actually two different orders. I waited for the second one to come in so I could show it all to you. And what I plan to do is just kind of show you the items, and then there's a few things that I'm going to kind of do a second part of the video to where I show you how they work, kind of do a review of a few of them. So, first thing I wanted to show you were these zebra markers. I believe they are oil-based, but I'll check on that before I do the review. They have two different tips. They have a thicker and a fine. And I got these hoping that they would be good to use when I get back into my art journaling. I just really like the colors and I felt like getting some new markers, so I tried these out. I think they're kind of a nice little starter set, so I grabbed those. I picked up these Sakura pens and they are um, you can see what they're called right there but supposedly they're like supposed to do a little outline type thing so if I remember right they're supposed to kind of be silver but outline the silver in the colors that you see here so we'll try those out kind of like what you see here like silver inside and the color on the outside so I thought those would be kind of fun so we'll give those a try I picked up a pad of this paper. It is grid or graph, whichever you prefer to call it. I actually got this to go with something else that I have ordered and I will show that to you when it gets here and how this is going to fit in. Um, something else that's going with this uh, paper pad and the thing that is coming is this uh, writing board. This is an A5 writing board and it's just polka dots. I thought it was really cute and hopefully it'll be useful. So I'm, I went ahead and got that. I picked up, as I'm sure is going to be no surprise to you guys, a new ballpoint pen, because you know I like ballpoints as well as every other kind of pen made. And it's a super thin one. It is hmm, a, okay, I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up. O-H-T-O. And it's called a slim line, and you can see it's super tiny, kind of in comparison. I love that. It's got the clicker at the top. And of course, because you know me, when I buy a new pen, I always have to get the refill, so I have the refill to go with it. So there's that. And then I wanted to try, kind of do a little experiment. So you guys know that my favorite erasable pen is the friction pens. I have a ton of them. They're all over the place at my house. Take them to work with me. Sorry, that was just me putting it away. I decided I wanted to see about other options and what they were like to see if, if that friction pen is really the best one or if I like it the best, I guess I should say. So I found on Jet Pens this little set of these pens and supposedly the way this is supposed to work is that these four are erasable these little things are what's supposed to erase them and then these are the regular pens so I thought we would give those a try and see how well they worked and then I picked up a couple others to try I picked up this one which is oh my goodness I cannot remember oh okay so it is um, a pink let's see it says Uniball Phantom 0.5. These pens did not get super great reviews, that's why I only got one. But supposedly the cap itself is the eraser, so I thought we would give that a try. And then I picked up two of this kind just because it was a little bit cheaper and I thought, why not? This is also another Uniball. And it's a Signo. Got one in a blue and one in a pink, and you can clearly see the little eraser part up there. And I believe these, and possibly this one, I'll have to double check, but I think they're temperature sensitive like the frictions. So I thought I would give those a try and kind of do a little erasable pen comparison for you guys. That may be an actual separate video. And then lastly, believe it or not, I'm sure you won't be surprised. Yeah, I picked up another pencil case, but it's pink. Wasn't that expensive and look, I will show you why I like it. First it has this little front zipper part, right? That'll be good for little refills, that kind of thing. And then inside, it has this. So you can put things in here. It's got a little pocket thing in here. I don't think you can fit anything there. And then you've got elastic, 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 and another little pocket so the pens can kind of sit in there. 
I'm finding that I don't need to carry as much as I thought with me, so I went looking for kind of a smaller um, pencil case and found this one. It was, I think, one of the brand new items when I was looking at jet pens the last time, so I nabbed it to try to. So there are all my goodies. Like I said, I will be back to share a couple of them with you. I think we'll try out the markers and the pens in this video, and then maybe I'll do a separate video for the erasable things. So if you have any questions about these, let me know, and I will be back to review those in just a minute. Okay guys, we're back and I thought I would just do a little review of these markers and these pens. And I thought I would just go ahead and use my new paper pad to do that. Uh, I am going to zoom in so you can see. Sorry about the shaking, oops. There we go. So, this is the grid of paper that I picked up. You guys saw that. I think we'll start with these, okay. And let's see, it came with Five colors. So a blue, a purple, a pink, a green, and an orange. And we'll go ahead and start with the blue because hopefully that'll be kind of dark. And let's see. I'm going to write a little larger just so we can see it a little bit better. There's A, B, C, D. Okay. So let's see. Better focus. Hmm, what do you guys think? Let me look at it real quick. Actually, let's see if the camera is going to pick it up. You can see the silver, right? What do you think? Let's try a different color. Let's try pink. Okay. E, F. I'm just writing kind of fast just to get it out there. Let's see. Can you see the silver inside? Hopefully the video will pick it up, but you actually can. It's pretty cool. You see that? Look, there you go. Those are pretty neat. So you actually can see the silver. And I have my phone right here. This is what it looks like, what they say it's supposed to look like on the site. Okay, so if you're interested in those, let's see, they are the Secura Ball Sign pens. Hang on, I'm looking it up for you guys. That's what they are. Right there. And they're probably one of the newer items as well. Okay, so those are pretty cool. Let me put the caps on those. Those will be kind of fun for um, using in my Hobonichi or maybe some art journaling. And of course they're cute. They have little, let's see if it'll focus, little glitter, glittery things on the pens. Super cute. And then we have these um, markers by Zebra. Sorry about that glare. And let me show you those. There are 12 in it. And let's see, I'm going to pick the pink because you know me, I like that pink color. So you have the thicker tip. Okay, and then you have a thinner one. Maybe you'll be able to, there we go, focus a little bit. So you can use either side. The other thing that I forgot to mention that I, the one reason I really also like these is because they're refillable. So I thought that was kind of cool. I always like when I can buy something that's refillable. I did, however, not buy the refills because I'm not sure if I'm gonna like them yet or not. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that these were, these are alcohol and oil based ink and it's supposed to be quick drying and water resistant. Okay, so let's try the thick one. So there's that. The pink's a really pretty color. I like that. And let's do the thin one. Both of which um, you can cap. If you notice, there's that little thin one right on top. I like that. These are really smooth to write with so far. So there you go. There's the pink. Really like that. Just... Yeah, very smooth. Nice flow. And like I said, they're refillable. And just so you guys notice what I mean, it the little cap 
caps on the big one, right, for the finer end. And when I take this one off, it caps on top of here. So both ends cap, which is good. I like that. So there you go. This set comes with 12 colors um, and is alcohol and oil based and on jet pens. That is what it looks like. So this should be a lot of fun to use in my art journaling. So if you guys have any questions about either of these, let me know and I will try and help you out. If not, of course, you could check them out on Jet Pens. And I will leave a link for Jet Pens down below. I will also be doing that other video all on the um, erasable pens that I bought. So stay tuned for that. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye!